Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? We're back again doing another tutorial. This time we're doing this awesome medieval style manor that you see right behind me. It is super cool. It's literally two buildings in one with a connecting bridge in the middle. There's three stories on each side and we also have interior in this bad boy right here that you see behind me. But you know what? Let's do a little bit of a tour. Let me show you what you got in store and then we'll start building it in a second. But check this out. This came out really, really awesome. I love the color palette we're using a little bit of sandstone a little bit of stripped spruce some brick and spruce for the roof and it's super awesome interior is completely done i'm going to show you how to build this right now block for block so let's get this started right now all right, and here are the dimensions we're going to be working with right now. This long rectangle you see here is a 13 by 7. This uh, rectangle here is a 7 by 5. And then this is a little 7 by 7 box. I'm going to connect them all wherever you see those pieces of wood right there. We're going to do some balcony bits that we see on that corner. And this is just a guideline. We're technically going to do it over <laughs> the, the bridge. So that's just so you can see how long it is. But let's start counting blocks. And uh, we're going to be lifting all this up in a combination of all these blocks. We're going to be doing stone, regular stone brick, and cobblestone. A little bit of mossy too you see some pipes also here and there so we're going to be adding that along the way so let's do this let's lift this all right now i'm going to do it all out of stone and then i'll texture after so let's do two we're going to do a two high so this is a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen by seven, seven. <laughs> 13 by seven going this way and then another 13 going all the way around right here this little pop out right there you see it's our little uh, chimney action but we'll be adding that in a second so right now you see this 13 by a seven box then we're going to turn this corner right on this edge we're going to go another one two three four five six seven uh and then this is how you know it's your separation to get to the top part but don't put anything down there because i'm just going to show you but remember seven right there and then start this box right here on this corner pretty much matching the end corner of that so we're going to go up by two so this is seven by seven so so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then another seven right here. And remember, go up by two on every single one of these. And then we're going to go all the way around. The way you know you're doing a perfect seven by seven is if you have a block in the middle with a two gapper all the way around. So that's your center guideline point. Then, you know what? Let me go ahead and texture this by mixing a little bit of cobble and a little bit of stone, a little bit of mossy too. Uh, so let me do this one real fast. All right, here we go. So it's all textured looking pretty cool. Now, right here on this block, we're going to put our way in. So this is the way in right here, and this is going to be our level. We're going to actually lift this up once uh, on the inside with the floor. But then right here, one and two, on these two right here, we're going to put a stair. So just put these two stairs right here, getting it ready. And then that's how you know how to get in from that side. Then on this end, we're going to put our way in as well. And it's going to go right here. So we're going to give it a space of one and two, put two stairs there for now, just as a placeholder. But now let's run a little trim of our stairs. So we're going to get our spruce stair, and let's go right from this corner. We're just going to run this all the way around facing down downwards like this and we're going to give it a little bit of a ring around like so till we get to right about there then let's do it on this side as well so we're going to start right on the corner and give it a nice little ring around with our spruce there and it's pretty cool it gives you a nice little separation between uh the different levels and this looks a little bit like a cake because you're going up at different levels and it keeps stacking up and stacking up and this is going to be your divider between the rooms which is really really cool now, next up, let's work on the main house and then we'll jump to this one. Now, for this, we're going to go up by three in sandstone. I'm going to go with regular smooth sandstone first, and then I'm going to bring in a little bit of regular sandstone to break it up like you see those little patches. And we're going to put all those stairs and walls in there as we go along. But for now, let's just go up. I want to go ahead and go up by three. Well, let's do one smooth first. So let's go one, two, and three. So I'm going to do this real fast. We're just going to stack this up by three all the way around. All right, now that we have this all surrounded with the sandstone, I'm going to come down here now, another one and two one and two here i'm gonna put an upside down stair versus spruce another one on this side then i'm gonna grab some trap doors and just go down here and go down right there then on this stair we're just gonna take it up by two with trap doors and two on this side so we have that way in right now then on this side, we're going to add a little window. So for this one, I'm just going to knock down these right here. And we're going to lift up one, two, and three. And then another one, two, and three. I'm going to put a little window right here. I'm going to put a full block right there and a upside down stair of spruce right there. We have a tiny little window on the bottom. All right now on this side, I'm going to go ahead and drop this, this, and this. And we're just going to go up one, two, three, and another one, two, three. Do the same thing right here. We're going to put our sandstone and our spruce there right there so we have ourselves another small window then on this side we're going to do the same thing let's go ahead and lift this one up one two three one two three we're going to put our sandstone we can mix in already that regular sandstone and then drop this up right there 
All right, now that we have this done, so far it's looking pretty good, but I'm gonna do another little ring around. This is time to go all the way around this way. So let's take it right to here, and we're gonna swing this layer of our stairs all the way around, but then we're gonna get to a point which is gonna be right about here. We're gonna leave that just like that. Then on this part is where we're gonna do a little overhang bit. So for now, uh, let's just put a simple slab just so you can see where it's at. Let's do a little simple stone slab right on this level and then we're going to go ahead and add our balcony bit so then let's give it a space of one two three drop another slab right there just so you can know and then right here we're going to grab our stair face it this way and then twist it and go all the way down and leave that there for now we'll work on that balcony in a little bit now another thing we can do back here is lift up this fireplace so this is going to be pretty cool so let's actually get rid of these two blocks right there and then we're going to actually push that uh, later on but let's lift this up for now i'm just going to use stone brick so another one two three four five and six so on the sixth one just leave it just up to there for now then next up let's start wrapping around this area in our uh, stairs so let's grab our stairs again and i'm going to start going down this way and we're going to take it all the way down till we get to right about here so stop right there and then we'll continue this way we're going to go all the way around wrap this until we get to here now once we get to this part this is where we're going to do our little balcony pit that goes all the way around to that one but for now let's just give it like a little placeholder so you know where it's at so one here space of three one here just so you know where it's at there then we're going to grab our stair face it this direction and then we're going to go all the way down to that corner so now we know so we can take this little part out and then you know that's the balcony bit that goes to there which we'll do in a second all right, now let's start working on the next level. So for this corner, we're just going to go up a regular smooth sandstone, another one, two, three, and four. Right here, another one, two, three, and four. Skip these three for now and go up one, two, three, and four on this side. We're going to get rid of these blocks here. And we're going to put, let's put full blocks right here. We're using slabs, but it's fine. Let's get rid of this block and this block. I'm going to put a strip spruce going this way, strip spruce going this way. And then let's get this block and make it turn that corner so you don't see that piece of strip. So just like that. And then we're going to do our little balcony bit in a second. But let's do this first. Let's go up one, two on the third one. Let's put an upside on stair, one on each side. Cross that in. And we're going to put a nice little archway there. And you know what? Let's do this right now. Just pop this out. One and two one and two go on the third one and lift this all the way up and over one by there let's cross this and let's take this all the way up over one extra bit right there then i'm going to go with some slabs going down that way and i'm going to put some upside down stairs one on this side and one on this side and we have ourselves a nice little overhang bit uh, but we'll do the balcony in a second let's continue with this side over here now for this one we're going to do a little bit of a tutor style so for this one let's go up right here with our strip we're going to go up one two three and four give it a space of one one two three four give it a space of one one two three and four then i'm going to go with a full block here full block here give it a space of one and two and then over here i'm going to put a little upside down stair i'm going to go with sandstone on this one just like that and then on this side we're going to go up one two three and four so we have a cool little tutor style window on that side then we still got the pop out to do over here but i'm going to save that let's go ahead and go on to this side over here now for this one we're going to make some simple windows just like this we're pretty much mirroring what's happening right here but a little taller so one two three and four one two three and four give it that space in the middle by putting that full block space up one and two and then we're dropping our stair and then we're coming back in here and going one two three and four just like that now for this one let's actually knock down this little bit i'm going to put a stair right here let's go ahead and just put normal brick stairs i'm going to put this right on this side boom boom and then on this one we're going to go ahead and bring the our brick again and just go up one two three four five and we'll leave that there for now and we'll keep going up as we get to the next level now for this part we're going to do the same thing kind of what we did there with the pop out we're going to knock this little piece out and put a, a block facing this direction we're going to give it a space of one two three put another block facing this direction and do the same thing we did here by just not exposing that piece then we're going to take this out an extra one and two an extra one and two and then we're going to go down here and take it all the way up kind of the same thing we did for the balcony but it's going to look a little different because we're going to actually pop this out so let's take this one down and let's get rid of this we're going to put our full block again well slabs full, slab the full block that's fine and then take this one all the way down like so now let's lift this up another one two three and four give it a space of one one two three and four one two three and four i'm gonna come inside right here give it a space of two then one two three and four and another one two three and four then we're just gonna fill this in with sandstone to the top fill this with sandstone to the very top then we're gonna drop sandstone here here 
Give it a space of two on each side, upside down stairs on both sides, and we have this cool little look. Then, let's just lift this up one more and one more here. We're going to cross beam this guy. We're gonna cross beam this, take it up one more, cross beam this, lift it up one more, and then we have this ready. All right, now for this part, let's start lifting this up. So I'm going with sandstone, another one, two, three, and four. Then I'm gonna give it a little tutor with one, two, three, and four there. We're gonna come in here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and a little bit of sandstone, one, two, three, and four. This one, full block, full block, give it a space of one and two, and upside down stairs on both of those, and we have ourselves a nice little window going out there. All right, let's work on the little bit of an overhang here so we have the idea of how to get this set up before we get to this part. So let's start right here. So on this block, let's go down one right here. So say one, two, three, four, five. So we're gonna go on this corner and this corner. So let's start here. I'm just gonna work with slabs. So let's go down with slabs. One, two, three, four. Then one, two, three, one, two, and a one. Just like that. Let's get rid of this one and put our slab here with a little gap in the middle. And then we're gonna come back down. So this is another two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And then let's take that one and put this in. And that should line up right to the edge of that. So let's do this one one more time on this side. There you go. So that should get us to this point right here. Now, what I want to do is let's actually start lifting this part up so we can match it to that level. So this one is really, really super simple. We're going to do the pretty much the same thing we did here. We're going to go up by three with sandstone. So let's go. One, two, three. All right, there you go. So that connected perfectly from that side to that side. Now, let's do this. Let's lift this up. Let's grab some stairs right here. Upside down stair versus spruce. Another one here. And let's cover this up. Pretty much the same thing we did on the other side. Grab some trap door. And I'm going to go ahead and just cover this part up right here. And cover up this part up right there. Also lifting this up by two. And then lifting this up by two. So it's a complete mirror job of what we did right there. So next up, let's go ahead and put our stairs again. So we're going to wrap this around. Let's actually start right here on this end, facing this th direction right there with stair. And then go all the way around this way. And then stop right here. We're also going to do a little bit of a balcony bit right here. Super simple balcony right at that edge. Let's put an upside down stair here, upside down stair here. A little trap door in the middle. We're grabbing our strip spruce. Take this up by one, one up on this side, and then cross that one. There you go, just like that. And then on the inside part, we're just gonna grab our uh, spruce and just take it down right there to cover that up. Then let's continue on this side. So we're gonna drop this all the way around like so, going all the way down, all the way down until we get to that part. And now we're in here. So let's grab our full blocks. I'm gonna cover this up right there with full blocks. And then also I'm gonna cover this whole area here in full blocks, just like this, till we get all the way down and that connects. So this will be our walkway up here connecting to our walkway this way. Now on this side, we're gonna go with some of our beams and we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna do up by five every other one, just like this. And then on the bottom part right here on this connection, we're gonna do some cross beams there. We're gonna put some full blocks in the middle gaps. We're gonna go up by one and we're gonna put an upside down stair right here, making it a small window on that corner. And then on the tippy top, we're just gonna put just sandstone right around like that. So then let's repeat this on the other side. All right, looking pretty good. We completely mirrored it. Now let's work on this side. We're gonna go up by two and going up like that. We're gonna give it a space of one and two and three. And then we're gonna go right here and do it again. So another two and there we go. Then let's grab our beam and we're gonna take this beam up. So we're gonna go up one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Full block here. And then we're gonna go with an upside down stair right on that side. So we're giving a two high window on this. Now over here, let's lift this up another one, two, three, and four. Right here, we're gonna go with a beam, one, two, three, and four. Skip a space, one, two, three, and four. Let's put an upside down stair right on this edge here. And then we're gonna cover that bit up. And then let's take these two up uh, all the way up until we meet up here, perfect. And then we'll do that nice little pop out at the end, but let, let's just continue with the build. Now for this one, we're gonna go up another one, two, three, and four. We're gonna do the same exact beams in the same placement, one, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four right there. And then we're gonna go down two more till we get to the fourth top one there. Put a full block, put a stair here, and we have ourselves a nice little connection. Everything's looking pretty cool, look at that. And we'll add the details and texture after, but we're doing good. Now, next up, let's go on this side. All right, now let's grab our stairs and let's start right here on this corner. We're gonna put our stairs down and go with that little wrap around again. We're gonna go all the way around this way, all the way around this way. Skip this part because we're gonna put our little fireplace in there. Skip this little section as well. And then we're gonna start putting some stuff down. So let's start facing that direction and going all the way around and stopping right about there. Then we're gonna do the same thing on this one. So let's wrap this all the way around like so. Oop, 
hold on there we go and then wrap this one all the way around like so going around this way now let's lift the sandstone up right here another one two three and four i'm gonna go with a beam here one two three and four i'm gonna put a beam every other one so one here up by four one here up by four on this corner we're gonna go with our sandstone then four blocks of sandstone here we're gonna give it a two block gap space two upside downs right here and that's looking awesome we're gonna do the nice little window let's turn this corner and we're gonna match everything we did here so we're gonna go up one two three and four one two three four we're gonna drop our beam here and our stair right on the top and then more sandstone going up just like this let's continue our fireplace going all the way up and let's stop it right there for now then for this one we're gonna do a little overhang uh balcony bit so on this we're just gonna take it up by one extra one extra here then this on this side is gonna go another one two three and four one two three and four and then we're gonna do a little bit of a cross beam right there and then we're gonna drop our slabs right on this one one two three one two and three and let's just leave that there for now we'll do that nice little detailing and overhang with the roof once we get to it now this part here we're gonna do it just like we did on the bottom one so we're gonna go with a double right here we're gonna go with a double on this side right there then I'm gonna go with a beam going up the middle by four another one up by four a full block and a stair here giving you a little window just like that on this side all right now once we get to this side let's do this part first i'm going to match this window here so let's go up one two three and four one two three four another four here i'm going to go with a full block full block we're going to go with a stair and a stair and then here we're just going to cover the rest up in sandstone from one side to the other just like this perfect now let's jump back here on this end i'm just going to cover this little part up right here we're also going to put some upside down stairs just like that and then let's grab some trap doors and we're just going to lift this up here here and down that direction for now leave it just like that all right now jumping back to this tower let's finish this little part up so everything can match pretty good so one thing that i want to do is let's actually get rid of this little corner bits i'm going to go up one two two three and four let's get rid of this one one two three and four get rid of that one one two three and four and let's get rid of this one two three and four and then we're just going to tutor it up so we're going to go up by three on these other ones so one two three one two three we're going to go up three let's go up three here now for this one let's do a little bit of a guideline so let's take this all the way down just for now we can take this so we know exactly where we're at and we'll probably replace these in a second but now one two and three and a one two and three now that we know where all these are at uh what we could do is actually let's get rid of these and let's just put four blocks let's just put a full block we're not going to see that part anyways and it's going to look okay and it looks good from the inside once we're in here then once we have that we're going to just cover the rest up in sandstone so one two and th uh, one two three one two and three and let's just cover all this up right now really fast all right, now, perfect. Now, let's work on this little roof right here. Let's work on the small roof. But before that, let's grab this full block just so we can also have a guideline. Let's cover this little bit up right about there. And that's our floor level also from the other side. Let's start lifting this up. So now, right here, we're going with a row going all the way down of our brick stairs. Then we're going to go up gradually just like this, going all the way till we get to that point. I'm going to do it on this side all the way down right here and just take it up just like so. Once we get to the top here, we're gonna grab our slabs of our brick and we're gonna lift this up right about here and take it all the way down to the end and keep going up. So right here and here, and then another one right here and here. In the middle gaps, we're just gonna just fill this all in with spruce, just like so. Now, once we have that filled out, we're gonna go underneath and put slabs every other one going this way of our brick, and then we're gonna do another little row going this direction. And that's it, that's our roof for that part. And then we'll work on the details, adding the little flower boxes and stuff after. Now, next up, let's work on this roof. Now for this roof, I'm gonna give it one more row on the top of just sandstone just to cover this up and this is all gonna be covered up anyways but i want to give it a little bit more elevation except for that part uh just so it can be a little bit cooler uh and we can do a little wrap around now so next up let's grab our brick i'm gonna go right here we're gonna overhang that but we're gonna take this down all the way from one side to the other just like so we're gonna do the same thing on this side except for this little part here let's give it a little bit of a, of a space here so let's just take it down to right about there Give it a three block gap and we're going to keep going all the way down this way now let's go ahead and do a little bit of detail now we're going to do that bit right now so let's do an upside down stair on each side we're going to go with stairs going regular and we're just going to do a normal stair pattern going up like this one side to the other until we get to the center now once we get to the center bit we're going to do a little upside down stair and then we're going to do a little stair facing that direction and then here we're just going to connect with upside down stairs from one side to the next now let's repeat this on this side 
Now, perfect. We repeated that side to this side. Now, over here, let's start working on this little overhang. So, we're going to go with upside down stairs on each side here and here. We're going to go down like this. One more upside down. We're going to go down like this. One more upside down. And then we're going to go down one more here and here. Then we're going to connect those one side to the next. And then we're going to come on the inside and drop our spruce. Just like that. Over here, we're going to grab some walls. So I got regular walls. Uh, I got some of the regular stone brick. And I'm going to put one on this side, one on this side. We're going to also grab some fence. I went with oak. And we're just going to go ahead and cover that. Cover that right here. Ah, nope, right there. And then another couple right on that side. We can even make a gate here in case you do have a light or anything. You want to fly out of here. Uh, put a little gate right here so you can open and close that one as well. All right, now let's work on this part of the roof. We're going to just put a line of spruce going all the way down like this. Then I'm going to put one spruce going this way. And I'm going to use this as a placeholder because you you'll see why. We're going to go one, two, just like that. Take that one out. Go one, two, just like that. And it gives you that nice little uh, window look. <laughs> then I'm going to go down one more right there. Then we're going to do this again. So a little placeholder. One, two, three. Take these out. One and two. There we go. We have that bit. And one more. We're going to go right here and do the same thing again. So one, two, three, one and two. Oh, no, hold on. There we go. And then they have that set up and then put that right there. We have three windows right there. Perfect. Then on the top, we're going to go up just like this on one. I'm going to go just like this on the other one. And then we're just going to come all the way down, actually, from one side to the next, just like that. And then we're going to do a little bit of a slab right on top of that, right on top of that. And one more on top of that one. And we have that roof. Then on the top here, we're going with a straight line going all the way down, just like so, connecting one side to the other. And we have ourselves a nice little roof action on that side. So let's go on this one, and we're going to do the same thing. So let's go again with a row of our uh, regular stairs of our spruce going down this way. Then let's take this up, another one, and another one right here. And just leave that there for now. We'll go up gradually until we finish that. Then let's go with a full block, well, a stair here. Let's go with the same trick we did last time. So one, two, three, like that. And then one and two till we connect. Go ahead and lift this all the way down like so. And then we're going to go ahead and put that one right there. Slab on top. And then we have this. Now for this one, we're going to take it up here because this is going to go up. I'm going to take it at least, this is right at the line where you have the slab. But then I'm going to go another one, two, and three more just so it can pop out a little more. And just leave that there for now. In the back part though, we are going to have to put these stairs. So let's try to sneak it in right there. Oh, nope. Right there. And then one more right there. Perfect. Uh, and then let's come back on this side. So we're going to go up one on each side. Let's do a little trick we did. So one, oh, wrong block club. There we go. One, two, three. Come back this way. One and two. And then we have this lined up on the top. This lined up this way. And then we have a slab right on top of that. Look how cool. Perfect. So now next thing that I want to do is let's come on the inside here. This one's going to be super simple because all I'm going to do is you can have options. You could do a barrel, a little barrel trick going like that direction. Or let's go with a cheaper version and go with just trap door going down like so. And this should do the trick by covering up. Oh, what do we need? need that? Actually, let's leave that there. We're going to cover all that up. Let's do it as well on this side. So this is going to go all the way up, giving you that little cover up job right there. And that's going to look pretty cool. Then on this side, we can go ahead and do a little bit of a bottom layer down here. So for this one, we can just do either trap doors. You can do slabs. Uh, you can go all the way down, though, and cover that part up. And we can do the same thing on this side going down this direction. Perfect. All right, let's jump back on this side and finish this little balcony bit. So for this one, we're just going to go with two walls, one on each side. We're going to go with our fences that we also had ready to go. Where did they put over here? Let's put fences here, here, here. Well, let's leave that little one there so we could put a gate in the center in case you want to jump out. And then here's your slab. So we're going to go with our brick slab and just take it up just like so. We're going to take it up also right here, double and a double. And then we're going to just fill in the rest with slabs. And this one's going to be some spruce slabs. And we're going to put those right here and right here. On this one, we're going to do what we did on the other one by putting a trap door all the way around like so. All right, now it's time to work on the tower roof. Now, for this one, it's all out of brick. So let's start with brick stair. I'm going to go with a stair facing this way, one upside down. Let's go on this side, stair facing this way, one upside down there. I'm going to go with an upside down stair here and an upside down stair here. Then I'm going to go with a double slab right here, double slab right here, and then a stair facing inwards like that. Now, let's repeat this all the way around. So stair here and here, stair here and here, stair upside down, upside down, 
We're gonna go with a double slab, double slab, and a stair in the middle. Let's do it again. So stair and stair, stair and stair, upside down on each side, slabs, slabs, and a stair in the middle. And then one more time. So stair, 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 and a stair, upside down on both, double slab, double slab, and a stair in the middle. Now for the next section, let's put some slabs on the corners. Let's put four blocks going all the way down like this. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and put another full block here. Let's put a stair facing this way, a stair this way, and a stair facing that direction. Now let's repeat this all the way around. So four blocks here, I'm gonna go with a slab, we're gonna go with a full block in the middle, and then stair, stair, stair. Let's repeat this again, so all the way down like so. Slab in the corner, full block in the middle, stair, stair, stair. Let's do it again, all the way down. I'm gonna go with this uh, little thing, thing there, let's do that and that. <laughs> so we repeated that all the way around. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and put a little placeholder, put a full block right here. Then we're gonna come up here, put a full block here, this way, one on the side, placeholder, and one here. So let's do this again. We're gonna lift this right here, one, two, and three. Then let's do a little placeholder, there it goes. Let's go one, two, uh, two, and three. Little placeholder, one inside. Then we're gonna go one, two, and three. So a little square all the way around. Then we're gonna put four blocks on top of all of those. And then we're gonna put stairs on top of all of these, right there. Now from here, we're just gonna cover up these little gaps here. So let's come in here and put a placeholder. I'm gonna go up by two on this side. Let's do another placeholder up by two. Little placeholder here, up by two. Another placeholder up by two, right here. Then on the next little bit, I'm gonna come inside. Let's just ring this around like so. And then I'm gonna put blocks on tops of these. We're gonna go up by one, just one on each side. Then I'm gonna put some stairs. Let's face them this direction. So a stair here, a stair here, one here, one here. And let's just take this up all the way around like so. And let's put one more little set of stairs going this direction. Then full block one and uh, two and three right here. Let's grab a wall of brick. And I'm gonna put the brick wall going right here, one. And let's get some fences. I'm gonna go with regular spruce and we're gonna go up one, two, and three. And that is our tower bit looking really, really cool. All right, now that we're here, let's go ahead and work on the little crane system that we have right there. So this one's super simple. Let's just put two walls, one on each side. I'm gonna go up with our fence, one and two, one and two. I'm gonna put a pop out log going out one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Only thing for this uh, wood piece at the edge, I want it to be this one actually. Let's put it right out like that. So it looks a little cooler. But then I'm gonna replace one of these with a barrel in the middle. So right there and right there. It's looking awesome. Then on the top here, I'm gonna put a slab, a slab, a trap door, and a trap door right there. Then underneath, we're gonna grab our grindstone and face it upward so that little piece of wood is touching the top right there. And that is looking pretty awesome. Then let's grab a gate. I'm gonna put one here. We gotta shift click it and shift click that one. Then we're gonna drop down right here. So this kind of looks like rope. So we're gonna go down one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna do go down five. We're gonna go down five on this one. Now, once we're on this one, we're gonna make a little platform. So I'm gonna put a slab right here going down the middle. And then I'm gonna put trap doors on this side, trap doors on this side. And then you can fill it with whatever you want on that. That looks pretty cool. Then I'm gonna just drop some trap doors right here just to give it a nice little rail on the side here. It's just something like that, really simple. And then another one on this side, just like that. And we have ourselves a nice little way up. Now, one little thing that I did here in the middle, I grabbed a bell and I thought it looked pretty cool. Uh, putting it like a little bell right here and then we can add some buttons one on each side and there we go we got a nice little lift right here and then you can put a bunch of stuff on top of that all right we're almost done now to give it the little finishing touches to give you that that little bit of extra detail i'm gonna come in here and i'm gonna scatter a little bit of the regular sandstone and this makes it look a little bit more rundown a little more rustic by doing that it gives you like these little patches like this and we're just gonna come in here and randomly scatter them around go wherever you think would be a good spot for them something like that really really super simple and look how much that just does uh just by just this little area here little things we're gonna do as well is come in here and give it a little bit of a breakup job by giving it some stairs Maybe in certain ends, maybe right here, maybe another one there, uh, and just play around with it. Go around in certain areas and give it like a little bit of a broken up job here. Also, what you could do as well is get some sandstone walls, and in certain spots, maybe pop that in. 
maybe pop one in and in just random place and that looks like it's breaking down a little bit so let me go ahead and do that also i'm going to add regular windows on all of these uh really really quickly all right looking pretty cool check that out we also did a little bit of texture on the chimney and it's looking awesome like that better than just one solid block and then up here again we're going to go with our fireplace trick this time i'm going to go ahead and do uh a trapdoor lining of our jungle and the jungle looks really really good too so we're going to use that and it's also so the color contrast actually looks pretty good and you can see a little bit of the fire through that little the little gaps in the middle so we have that now another thing that we didn't do i forgot to do uh let's put slabs on the roof every other one and that gives us a nice little trim all the way around also going to do it on this side so one on that corner and then come back down this direction and that gives us just a little bit more detail just like that now another little thing that i wanted to do is add flower boxes so we're going to come in here and add flower boxes in certain spots we're going to do a triple here a triple and a triple so let's go right here one two three gonna go with our trap door the spruce kind on the bottom just like that cover up this side and that is one down also gonna put another one right on these so we're gonna put one here one two three another one two and three on this one put our trap doors around like so and then put our trap doors around this one as well and then once we do that we have ourselves a nice little greenery there and that's looking pretty cool now another one that i want to do is a different style here we're going to bring in bush i'm going to put bush here one two and three and then underneath here we're just going to put some trap doors and that's going to give it a little bit of a nice look to it adding a little bit of greenery right there looks awesome then i'm going to put a single one on this side so one in the middle and then we're going to put trap doors all the way around that one so that's looking pretty good then let's work our way to the other side then on this one we're going to go with a single in the middle grab our trap doors ring it around like so and on this one here we're also going to do a little a small single one in the middle then we're going to trap door that up as well and then we're going to add also a triple on this one and a single on that one now on this back end one we're also going to put a triple right here so one two and three then on this one we're going to put a single single and a single one right there and then also don't forget the little bit of bush right here on this side just so it can get mirrored compared to the other one now super simple underneath here all i did was a little bit of a beam down here with some lights super simple we're going to grab some fences right here we're also going to grab a different wood let's go with uh the dark oak log and we're just going to drop this one down we're going to drop that one down and then we're just going to add torches on this one we're going to go old school with this de design right here this is pretty cool and there you go a little old school hanging light for you now the tiniest little detail here, I'm gonna put a little beam coming out right here. So one, two, and one down, just like that. And you can maybe change one of these as a mossy one. And if you want, if you put a little dropper here, it kind of looks pretty cool. Kind of looks like it's going into a drain right there. Look how cool, that's awesome. And then you just can mossify the floor a little bit, showing that this place has been uh, a little bit wet, a little damp, and it gives you that cool little look to it. Also I added one more on this side, so we could do one right here, bring it down, go it all the way around. Maybe this one could be that. It looks pretty cool and then we can add another little dropper on the bottom of anything but you know what let's go inside let me show you where you put your little room dividers all right so first things first we want a floor i'm just gonna go with our spruce i'm gonna cover this whole thing up right now all right we also broke up this little wall right here so you can go ahead and put furnaces all on this wall right here as well now we're gonna put everywhere you see a line right here every every single spruce line you see that is our floor level so we're just gonna put full blocks on all of these right here and that is our floor for this one. Now, for this one as well, we're going to do the same thing. Wherever you see that spruce, we're going to cover this whole thing up. And then last but not least, once we get to this level. Now, for this one, we could take it down to this level here. And we can cover all this up as well in our spruce. Also, if you see this little corner bits, you can take those out now that we have um, that covered up by the brick on the other side. And it gives you that just seamless spruce transition right there. Now, one small thing, once you're on this level right here, this is the second floor, we have this nice little area right here. Now, this one needs a little bit of detail, so I'm just gonna go ahead and lift this up right here. Lift this up right here like that, so we have a nice little, just seamless wall. And then I'm gonna come here and give you a little bit of a cross right there. And then I'm gonna pretty much just repeat kind of what we have here on this side. So a stair here and a stair here, and that gives you a nice little archway to get to the next side, which we are going right now. Now, once we're over here, let's do the same thing. So we're gonna go right at this line, and this is gonna be our floor level. And then once we get to this line, again, same thing. We're gonna go here on our floor level, right here. Uh, and then once we're on this side, this is the roof, so we don't have to do really much anything yet on this one. But really quick, it's dark. Now that we're up here, let's give this a nice little vaulted look. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do this. So let's put a slab underneath this. 
Let's go with a full block underneath those and a slab here. Let's do this again. So full block. Let's do a full block all the way around like so. Let's go with slabs right there. Slab, slab, and slab all the way around like that. Then for this one, let's actually lower these here. Let's take that full block down on every corner. I'm going to go with a slab on every little bit like that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cover that little bit up. And that gives you a nice little vaulted look. And that looks awesome. I love that. All right, let's jump back down. And then I'm going to do the same thing we did over there. I'm going to do it over here on this side. So let's go with full blocks here, full blocks here. Then we're going to go with full blocks on top of that. I'm going to put a stair here, a stair here. And we have a nice little archway. And then if you want, you can give it a little bit of texture as well, just like us. So perfect. Then in here, really simple. I'm just going to go with upside down stairs going this way of our spruce. Also going this direction. And then on the tippity tippity top here, I'm just going to cover that up just like that. Or you know what would be better actually? Let's put, uh, let's put a beam up here just to get a little bit of color contrast right there. Perfect. And there you go. We're all done. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this. I'm going to go next door right now. I'm going to show you what you could do as far as interior. If you guys want to get some inspiration, anything, go crazy, do whatever you like, use this as you want, but let's go inside this area. So let's start here on the first floor. We're going to go down and work our way around. So little things you could do on the outside, just extra bits of barrels, chests. Uh, we even have these little water uh, spots here with some waterlogged stairs. Coming around here, we also have a couple more on this side just to make it look like it's kind of overflowing a little bit. Uh, out here also we have like a little market stall kind of thing. People selling some fruits and vegetables. Uh, then out here a little bit of light and some more extra bits and stuff like that. Looking pretty cool. Now when we come inside, check this out. So coming on in, we have a nice little kitchen area over here. And it's very survival friendly, so I made it so that you can use this in your world and you can use it for really anything. Uh, so it's pretty much, it's not an ultimate survival, it's pretty close to an ultimate survival house. You get pretty much everything you need. Uh, so we have a little brewing area right here with some uh, nether wart, some, uh, a little water, a little cauldron, and some brewing stands right there. And I love the ceiling. So uh, in the other one, you saw it was all spruce. But if you add little bits of slabs up here, you've got these cool little uh, raft looking things. I love that, that little look. Just add a little bit of detail up there. Now here we added just a bunch of smokers. We stopped it right here at that point. It looks awesome. We got some little dividers as well as he in here. And then we have a stair to get up to the top right here on the corner. In the bottom of the stair, we have a little loom, empty bookshelf sideways like that. Some bookshelves and some barrels and trapdoors going up to the top like that. So it looks pretty cool. Over here, we have our dining room. So we have space for one, two, three, four, five, six, six people. What? One, two, three, six? Yes, six people. <laughs> and it looks pretty cool. All it is, it is some just stairs with some trapdoors on top, item frames next to it with some scaffold as a table and a big old painting in the back right there. Hanging lights here on the side. Also some lights on that side. And I love the carpet right there. Looking pretty cool. Carpet and wool combo is so nice. Uh, and on the bottom, I added just uh, oak. And now here, let's go upstairs. Now, super simple to put the stair in the corner and you don't hit your head, so it's a perfect spot for it. Now, over here, we can go outside. You have a little seat out here, a little banner looking pretty cool. And then on this side, we just have a little bit of storage, some shelving, and then our stair to get up on the next level right on that corner. So that's where that stair is. Pretty cool spot, right? Over here, we have a little seating area just to hang out right here for four people. Uh, a little spot here, just, just a, a table with some flowers in here. A couple composters with some bushes on top. Then I'll show you that little section later. Let's Let's keep going this way now the stair goes up and it takes us to this part and this is really cool we got a little library mini library corner here with some bushes also composters there with some lecterns looking pretty cool uh then some extra storage here on the side the ceiling looking pretty cool the same style we did on the other side and then we have our big bedroom over here uh so we have some beds double bed here we have a nice little bed frame here with some dark oak beams going up and some slabs on the top with some barrels in the back for extra storage uh out here nothing nothing too crazy just a couple Couple bushes and just a little lookout over here I love that though and now over here this is our attic and this is really cool we get a ladder over here and this takes us to the top here we got a little bit of uh, uh, uh it's unkept okay don't worry the the, the servants are around okay but um, this is their bedroom if they ever do show up again uh, so we have a little desk over here with some sea pickles some extra chests and storage and this looking awesome over here we got just extra bits and it's looking pretty cool I love that there's uh, cobwebs in here it looks like it's, it hasn't been kept in a while uh, but that's where the servants quarters are 
uh, and it's looking pretty good. Now, once we go back down, we'll do this little cross to the other side. This has some pretty cool features in here. So right on the top here, just a bunch of extra storage. The lift you see has some stuff coming up to the top, and this is where we keep that storage for whatever's on that lift. Then on the bottom, we have uh, just um, a couple little spots here, just storage. This is our storage facility pretty much. So we got some barrels and chests, and it's pretty much pretty good for our storage starting out. Uh, but then on the tippity tippity top, we're gonna take the ladder, and this is our full enchanting room, baby. I told you this is good for uh, our survival house. Go here, full enchanting room. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff over here anvils, chests, barrels, and a full level 30 enchanting setup with our nice little vaulted ceiling. And that's it. <laughs> we're all done. But hopefully, you guys did enjoy. This was so much fun to make. Let me know if you want to see anything else uh, in this style. You want to see a mansion, you want to see another ultimate survival house, you want to see a little baby castle or something. Let me know down below what do you want to see next. And I might consider doing it for like an upcoming episode. I got a couple other things lined up, but I can't wait to show you what I got ready to go for another episode. But hopefully you guys did enjoy. I'm out of here for now. Catch you guys on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.